Hi, my name's Michael, and today I'm going to do something that I don't usually do, and that's a library haul. The reason I'm doing this is because it's Women in Translation Month, and I thought I would celebrate by going to the library and just picking up a couple of women in translations, and I went a bit overboard and ended up with six, so I'm probably not going to finish these all this month but I will definitely get through them at some point. The first book I got was Troubling Love by Eleanor Ferrante, and this one is translated by Anne Goldstein. And what I love about Eleanor Ferrante's short novels is they really explore the female psyche under siege, and this one is no different. I've already read this book. It is the story of a woman dealing with the death of her mother and the secrets that come out and just go through a whole range of emotions and fantastic book. I think I only have one Eleanor Ferrante novel to complete and that will be all her novels. I'll probably get to that one maybe this month as well if possible, but I am looking forward to completing all her works because I really love her style. Next book is a Italian book as well as this is Can You Hear Me? And this is written by Elena Vavello and this is translated by Alex Valente. And this one, I believe, will probably get a little bit of hype coming up because it's a fairly recent release. This is a coming of age story, but while this man is coming of age, his father is abducting a woman and you have the two stories kind of in contrast. And it's a fairly quick read. I am about halfway through it already and probably complete that today. Next is Fair Play by Tuve Jensen. And this is translated by Thomas Studio. And I won't talk much about this because Tuve is a national treasure. She is a Swedish author that has quite a claim. And I'm looking forward to finally checking her out. Next, I've got Crying Mother Spain by Linda Savare, and this is translated from the French by Ben Fenisi. I am not too sure about this one. This is a recommendation to me, and I was able to pick this up from the library. It does look very promising, and I believe it's elegant and gritty and dealing with the Spanish Civil War. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. Next, I have Men by Marie Dariusek, and this is another French novel, I believe, and this is translated by Penny Horston, and I have heard lots about this author, and she's been getting the rounds a bit lately, not with this book, but I saw this one at the library, and I recognised the author's name, so I had to pick this up. And just reading the back, the title of Men plays on the quote by... Marguerite Duress, who I love with her book Lovers, and the quote is, we have to love men a lot, a lot, a lot. Love them a lot in order to love them, otherwise it's impossible. We cannot bear them. And just by that quote, I feel like I'm going to have to pick this one up probably before some of the others. And lastly, I have Belladonna by Jesse Durdick, and this one is translated by... Celia Hornsworth, and this is a Croatian novel that seems really fascinating. I am really curious to explore this one, and I've heard a lot of good things about her writing. I don't know too much about this one, but I have seen this one floating around a bit in the blogosphere, and I know Agnes from Beyond the Epilogue has just hauled this one as well, so that's the last of the books I have from the library. Hopefully, I will be able to get through all of them, and I I'm currently reading this book as well, so I'll definitely be trying to get through that one as well. Let me know what your plans are for Women in Translation Month, and I hope you are picking up some great books. If you want to find me elsewhere, all my links to social media are in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.